Hey guys, welcome back to Technopedia. And today we are going to review the Eclipse V8 Roam for the Galaxy Note 2. So let's get started. Okay, our phone is booting up. The boot animation is also changed in this room. Let's see the boot animation now. Okay, here's the boot animation as you can see. It's black and white in color. Okay, our phone has booted. Here's the lock screen. Here is the status bar, as you can see it's transparent now. It feels like the Note 5 status bar. The icons are blue in color now and the background is white. Okay. There are the more options. Here's the flip board. It's same as the V7 ROM. Here's the phone dialer app. The dialer has changed a lot. As you can see, the icons are much larger now and green in color. The IMI info, the testing menu, okay. we have a backup app also, which is really a cool app. You can take uh, all the backup. You can also take backup of the applications as well. Let's see, backing it up. Okay, it's done. Okay, it's successful. And we can also restore the backup easily. Here's the gallery app. It's same as the V7. You can zoom in and zoom out. It's very responsive. And the icons are blue in color now, as you can see. Top bar. The all share option is the edit menu. The options are similar to the V7. I think all the effects are same, but they work really good. You can save it in a high or a medium quality. Okay, it has been saved. can see the gallery works flawlessly here's the settings Let's see the power saving options the battery life is almost similar to the V7 See the about device, Eclipse V8, Android version is KitKat. Here are some other information about the device. Okay, 
here are the recent tabs we have got a close all option also here let's see the multi window option The ROM is much more responsive than the V7. Here's the pop out. Okay, it's also a cool feature. Can resize the windows. Same as TV7. the browser the theme is also changed here it's blue in color now it's the close all option and we have got the task manager option also okay, it's really a good feature Let's check some of the games. It's the Crossy Road game. Okay. The loading time is very quick. Okay, the game is also smooth. No lines in between gameplay it's a 2d game but overall it performs really great let's check the mini militia loading time okay it's loaded pretty fast you can see Let's check the S voice now. Okay, let's do S voice. Testing it for the first time. Okay, it's almost similar. No changes in this app. Overall, we haven't faced any lags in using the ROM. Now, let's see the ROM bugs. The temperature isn't visible for the cities, as you can see, it's overlapping the other window. You can't see the temperature easily barely visible and just see the time and let's see the other bugs okay the calendar bug we can only see the add event bar or when it's tabbed as you can see as I 
my hand it disappears it must be always visible there let's see the other bug As you can see the white text isn't visible. We aren't able to read it. Okay. These are all the bugs. But they didn't come in between the ROM and its performance. See the transitions, screen scroll transitions, cards, tag, and 3D rotations are the options which we have. All the other things are similar to the V7. Overall the ROM is very responsive but sometimes the phone hangs while we are on this ROM. We will see later on if it gets fixed. We will let you know about that. But overall no issues with the ROM. It's really a great ROM to have on our old device Galaxy Note 2. Let's switch it off. Again. okay that was it for today guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to the channel thank you